Hey guys, Pete with Leisure Time here. Today we are looking at a 2021 Artesian South Seas 748B hot tub. The issue with this one was that the filter bucket had developed a crack. I was able to kind of temporarily fix it with some silicone. I always hate talking bad about any sort of hot tub brand, so take this with a grain of salt. Um, this is a common issue, unfortunately. Not super common, but I mean, I have replaced probably five uh, these filter buckets and so when I've done that many I kind of say it's a common issue. I can only imagine that it's because of expansion and contracting that this filter bucket developed this crack right along here on the brim and so it was leaking through there pretty good. Okay, I wanted to show you this little trick I do when pulling off the panel on one of these artesians. I'm just gonna stick my toe underneath the panel here, kind of hold it up so it doesn't fall down. And then I'm gonna take the screw that I just pulled out, and I'm gonna run it underneath the panel. And it's gonna kind of hold up that panel for me. That way the panel is kind of supported right there. And when you go to put it back on, you can put it right back in the same spot and have your panels all lining up with the corners. So you can see all this stuff right here. All the foam in there has been wet. Cut the plastic open here. And you can see all that just wet from leaking over the past few months. And then I like to try and remove this foam in as big of chunks as I can, just to cut down on mess. And usually I just re-insulate it with fiberglass insulation, the batting foam. We're gonna cut the inlet and the outlet off of the filter bucket, cause that's the only way it's gonna slide out of there. You may notice that on this other side, I cut that plumbing line twice. And that's because there's the one side, there's a PVC uh, 45 degree elbow that goes into there, glues in. Um, so we have to cut it off of the bucket so the bucket can slide straight up. There we go, it's not super tight. Well, that's another way of doing it. And instead of pulling it straight up out, you could drop it down in. So when you pull your filter bucket out, these should be labeled. That side is labeled out, and this side should be labeled in. It's hard to see on the camera, but you want to pay attention to the out and in, which direction the water's going, because you want to put your new filter bucket back in the same way. This side was the out way, so water's moving in this direction. I was looking at the o-ring that came off of the filter bucket, the old one. Typically, you can't reuse that because it's been just kind of deformed enough or pinched or something when it went in that it's not really usable anymore. The O-ring does not come with the bucket. They are two separate parts that you have to order. The new parts, you got your out and in. Like I said, they're marked on the filter bucket. But I want to primer those parts before I drop the bucket in. Okay, then I'm gonna put my O-ring back on the bucket and there is a top and a bottom here. You can kind of see how it's beveled down. And so we want that to face downwards. Something I like to do with every O-ring, no matter what, where I'm putting it, I'll get the uh, super lube and lube up the O-ring so that it goes in place. Um, I've dropped the filter bucket down into the hole and I've started the, the union nut up here. I've got the threads going. Okay, But I'm not going to tighten that down all the way just yet because I want to be able to turn this bucket and get my plumbing lined up. So first thing I'm going to do is take 
our new elbow that's going to connect to this pipe over here and I've just gotten a two inch uh, 45 degree elbow and I've glued in uh, a piece of two inch pipe to one side and then I'm going to stick that end in there I'm going to turn it around and then I'm going to take a two inch coupler here and I've already got a piece glued in on that side I'm going to stick that on the other side and then I can turn it and line it up with this plumbing over here. I can make a measurement, make a line on my pipe, trim that back so that these two can glue into those pipe. Get some glue on that side. Get some glue on this side. And I'm going to stick this in that side. And I'm going to twist it as I'm going in. And I'm going to hold it there for a minute. I want that glue to set up before I let go. Sometimes when the glue is trying to set up, it can push the pipe back out again and then you have a weak glue joint right there. Same thing over here. Spin it as it goes in and hold it in place. I'm still not gonna tighten up the nut on top here until I get these parts put in place. This is always the hard part, trying to glue two pieces in at the same time get everything to line up right and that's the nice part about not tightening down that union nut up there is you can wiggle this filter bucket around to get things into place the last thing i'm going to do before i tighten up that nut up there is i'm going to put a small bead of silicone right up around here on the threads of that bucket. When I tighten down the nut, it kind of squishes around the threads and continues running the, the silicone around. And like I said, as I tighten that down, it's gonna squish all the way around. It's gonna carry that silicone all the way around the threads. And just see if I can get a couple good turns out of it. I don't wanna over crank this because we might end up having the same problem that we did before with cracking the top. Everything feels tight. Check it out up here. That looks straight. I'm just gonna stuff this with some insulation. We can put the panel back on. Well, tub's all filled up. Turned it on. I'm just gonna run and test it. Checking for any leaks around the union bag, around my Stuff some insulation in there and button it up and we are good to go. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching another video at Leisure Time Inc. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for future videos.